Hi everyone and welcome to Tuesday's Tips with Laurie and, and Brittany. Brittany. <laughs> We've got some uh, really fun things planned today. I'd like to try to take you through start to finish on the Hello Sunshine Pineapple. I know that can be a little bit intimidating because part of it is um, applique and part of it Chanel. So we're going to start out with the very first part which we hoop. And she's my hands and my arms today. Mm -hmm. So yes. we hoop the tearaway stabilizer with the fabric background. And just like in the Hello Sunshine directions, we taped it down. And I like, I, I add a little extra tape here and there because I like it nice and snug and secure. Yeah. The very first step is uh, laying out the placement line for the pineapple. So Brittany is going to start that right quick. And while she's doing that, we've got the pineapple piece. Now, it does say in the instructions to cut your applique piece, and then it also says you're going to cut three more pieces of the same fabric. One is for the applique, and the other three are for the Chanel piece. So I'm going to let her lay that down. So the way it happens is we just lay it and treat it as if it's an applique to start with. Don't worry about the Chanel layers just, just yet. And I think that can be the most intimidating part. So it's going to look just as if it were an applique. And so you would lay it down, it'll do the placement line, and then Brittany would trim around that. I'm going to let her pop that out and show you what it would look like. And this So you can see the stitch here. Um, just went right around, and so you'll trim around that. Um, for your applique. So let's see. That's right. And so, this, this so um, this is what it would look like after you trim around the applique. Then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to stitch out the top part of your pineapple and then you're going to lay down your um, stem. And I like to lay it with the lines running vertically. I think it gives it really a Kind of a cool look and then you will do your top stitching so it'll do this decorative top stitch and it'll do a satin stitch and the decorative top stitch on your pineapple and that's the first part of doing the Chanel is just to that point with all just the applique pieces placed down decorative stitches placed on them mm -hmm. so, so you can see here I'm almost done cutting around but you'll want to cut pretty close to that stitch line but be careful not to cut through the stitches. And so you can see it'll look like that once you're done. Once you're done trimming around. And then it'll do those stitches like that Lori was talking about. So we're going to magically go from, <laughs> go from there that to here. here. We don't want you to have to listen to the machine running for 10 minutes. So, <laughs> which is the majority of the stitch out. So once we get to this point... We are ready for the applique, or the Chanel part. So I'm going to hand these three pieces to Brittany. Um, you can see we've got three pieces. <clears throat> now Brittany, we're going to have you place all three pieces with the right side facing up. So they're mm -hmm. stacked one on top of the other, right side up, right side up, right side up. Mm -hmm. And then she's going to place that on top of the pineapple, covering the entire, entire pineapple portion. Mm -hmm. And this is what's going to turn into our... Uh, Chanel. Chanel. So go ahead and start that and what it'll do is it'll do a basting stitch. Don't panic, it's not permanent. It'll do a basting stitch all the way around the outside of the pineapple and then it's going to fill in the actual tack down portions of the Chanel. And so that'll give us, it'll take just about a minute. It doesn't take very long on these little small 4x4 four four sizes. And while you can see that super block stitch, I don't even know I enjoy watching it. That's a hobby in it's, itself. Right. <laughs> it's just watching the machine. So yeah. it only on this little tiny one, it only has three lines. And while that's stitching mm -hmm. out, I'm gonna let Brittany um she's got the scissors right here. <laughs> so it'll look just like this 
when it's stitched out. And you'll see the stitch lines. So there's a basting line that goes around the outside edge. And so Brittany is going to cut around the outside of that basting stitch. And I started cutting just a little bit for her so she could see where it was to cut. Mm -hmm. So she'll finish cutting those three layers. And you can cut all three layers at once or one at a time, whichever you find easier for yourself. And once she cuts around that, the next step after you cut all three layers Doesn't that look great? After she's cut all three layers, then we're going to unpick the basting stitch. And I've already unpicked around this much for her. So mm -hmm. I'm going to let her finish showing you how to unpick that basting stitch. It's just that very outside um, yep, piece. And it's okay if it kind of frays a little because mm -hmm. guess what we're doing next? <laughs> we are going to fray it and Chanel it. That's part of the fun. So while she's finishing that, she's just about done there, you'll want to just make sure that you can reach up underneath these pieces, which is exactly mm -hmm. what we can do. All right, so I'm going to show you some diagrams of the cutting. I've enlarged them. These are right out of the Hello Sunshine book. This would be the larger pineapple, and this would be a medium pineapple, and this is the small pineapple. So you've got the three different sizes. Now it'll show you when you are making the pineapple uh, this is just more detail this shows you more of what we're going to be doing right here with this four by four size so this is bigger than what the five by seven will actually look like it's enlarged for detail so we can show you the detail the pineapple doesn't come that big in the book just i just want to clarify that <laughs> so don't be looking for your pineapple that's that big this is these are just enlarged so we can show you the cutting so and today, several times, I keep picking these scissors. They look so real to me. So the first thing that Brittany's going to do is this blue cutting line. She goes straight, straight across. And you can see right here where that blue cutting line is that she's doing. And then she's mm -hmm. going to do this other blue cutting line. And you do all three layers at once. And you don't need one of these chenille tools to do this. You can use just scissors. This makes it easy. It does make it easy. A little though. bit easier. <laughs> so once you've gone across these straight two lines, just like it shows here, then you're going to find that middle spot right here in the middle, and you're going to mm -hmm. clip up just like it shows on the diagram. Perfect. Yeah. And then on the top, there's also one right on the middle. Perfect. And then if you look back here at the diagram, you can see these two lines that she's cut in the middle. You can come off of, and you opposite cut where this, the stitch went. So the black lines are where the stitches are and the blue lines are where you cut. Mm -hmm. Yep, right there, you've got it. And you can see there's not a stitch out here, but you still cut it right here so that you have mm -hmm. some good, um, Chanel. Chanel looking and it's fun. This was a great uh, way of Chanelling these pineapples because they look like pineapples. pineapples. They really do when we're all done. Yeah. So again, this is the 4x4 four four size pineapple that we're cutting and this is the diagram we're using. And this is the diagram for the 5x7 pineapple. And you want to make sure to get all three layers when doing this. That's yeah. something that I do. Sometimes I miss a layer. <laughs> And it's so. tricky, so you don't mm -hmm. want to cut the very bottom applique yep. layer. So you just want to make sure you're getting just those three. Beautiful. Okay. I think I got them all. Sweet. That now, you, this is the fun part. This is where you're going to wrap it up. <laughs> so we've got several different ways. You can use your finger. You can use a Chanel brush, which works out great. Um, if you want to get a really stiff, stiff bristled toothbrush, that works as well. I would keep it only for this. Yeah. So you might be flossing while you're brushing <laughs> accidentally. Or we have got fingernail files work out really well too. And you just get in there and it's so fun to see it starts looking like a pineapple. You can see where those corners pop out. Mm -hmm. And there, there that is your pineapple. 
and you can rough it up more than that, less than that, whatever your you whatever you desire. And that oh is, God. and then here's a cool little trick. See how she's clearing those up? I'll show you this fun trick. You can use the Kimberbell paper tape or roller brush oh, if you wanted to. Yeah. But you can just use this paper tape and pick up all these little leftover pieces, oh, too. That's a good idea. So sometimes after I'm done with a project, you have these little pieces of tape because you taped it down for the hooping. Pull them off, reuse them. Use them to pull off those little tiny pieces of threads. And there nice you have it. Yeah. There is your... And then you simply uh, trim around it mm -hmm. and you center and trim around that and put it in your Hello right sunshine. Into your sunshine quilt. <laughs> now we have, do you want to show us what we brought oh, yeah. with us, Brittany? Yeah, if you really like chenille, then we do have a, we do have a whole CD with chenille fruit hot pads. So these are done completely in the hoop and there's five different sizes and six yeah. or six different sizes. There's one, one, two, five three, sizes. four, five sizes with six, six different, different fruits. fruits. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. So we've got the strawberry here. This is our biggest size. We've got the peach and a little cherry. I think this one's adorable. <laughs> yes. Let's see if we can line up all the sizes. So there's yeah. 9 by 14 or 9 by 9 inch hoop, 8 by 8. I might have missed the next size. Six by ten. Six by ten oh, is the next one. <laughs> yep, we didn't grab the Which other one. Have. But then we've got, and then this is the little four by four, and there's a five yeah. by seven. So all your hoops: four by four, five by seven, six by ten, eight by eight, and nine by nine. Yeah. So much fun. So yeah. have lots of fun, and we hope that you will enjoy making Chanel. If you enjoy it from from the fruit stand, you're gonna love it in the Hello Sunshine quilt. So. Right. They're both, yeah. both have Chanel and they're lots of fun. Yeah. Let us know if you have any fun tips on Chanel yourselves. And we hope to see you next Tuesday. Thanks so much. Thank you.